Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Bulls and the Tigers, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Now from the great state of Illinois, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the second city of Chicago. Today it's a preseason matchup as it'll be the Bulls of San Antonio and the Chicago Tigers. Charles Davis alongside me, and I'm Brandon Gordon. And, folks, the wait is over. Yes, it's just the preseason, but football is back in your living room. And I'm excited. I know you are as well. The summer heat feels good on these old bones, especially because we're not putting on pads. We don't have to be out there in that heat running into other people. But I'm glad these guys are football. Santos now ready to get this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Bringing them out is a guy who has spent a decade as a starter in this league, the 2019 Comeback Player of the Year, Ryan Tannehill. And one of the things that has really impressed me about Ryan Tannehill has been his perseverance. Early in his career, didn't have the success that he desired. Had some injuries that slowed his development. But he kept working at his craft, and now he's a guy that I think you can put a game on his shoulders. The drive starts with a completion left side, and they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A good pick up there, 21 yards. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Now it's Tannehill. Well, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. A short throw taken in by Conquo. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now the rookie third rider from Tulane, it's Tajay Spears. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Tannehill. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Sacked by Yannick Ngakwe, the former Maryland Terp. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Here's Tannehill. Under pressure, they got him again. The former third-round pick, Justin Jones, bringing the lumber that time. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively, and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback, maybe some screens, maybe some draws, and hot cap, use your voice inflection a little bit. Anything to try and slow that pressure down. Uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on the punt. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single-season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, he's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. 
you provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Fields now to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. What a gain on third down. Good for 28. Well, a lot of times when you get a magical third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him, picking up the first down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. A man who led the league in yards per carry last year. It's Khalil Herbert down to about the 45. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Fields. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Fields going to keep it running left. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Uh, give left side here for Herbert. Nice footwork at the 25. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. After the broken tackle, couldn't get free for much space. Taken down right at the 10. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the 10. Read option. Here's Herbert. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Tigers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive the last series for him, a little disappointing forced to punt and now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive first and 10 flushed out right and he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Back to throw, Tannehill. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. 
Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. It'll go as a 50-yard punt, six yards on the return. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got the 7 to nothing lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. On second down, here's the option. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Third down and six. Here's Fields. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to prove. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. From the 38 now, here's a second down and six. Second down and six. Herbert once more. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Fields. He's got the connection to Moore. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter down, it's our home team with possession as they've got it with a first and ten. And off the option, he'll try and run with it. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official in call. Nine big yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now he'll try to run with this. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. He's got a rifle one deep left side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Now here's Trenton Gill on to punt. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Back out comes San Antonio. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Here's Spears on second down. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. 
Levis out of the shotgun now. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Andrew Billings in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Taylor now to return it. A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And they will take over first and 10. The Chicago offense set to get started. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. They'll start the drive with a give to Foreman, pushing through the contact. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. So a decent gain there on the play, but that all gets wiped out with a penalty. Well, that's a setback, but all the good play callers, they just move on. They find something else in the playbook. They can attack this defense, and they go right back on the offensive on this play. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. Back to throw, Bajan. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Jaleel Johnson able to get in there and run him down for what's going to be a loss of 15 yards all told. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And this offense on third down today, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and forever. Throwing here, Bajan. Throw out wide is incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They'll start on the ground with Spears. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Here's second and 10. The Spears with another carry. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. From the 48-yard line, here's second and four. They'll run it right side with Haskins. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 18 yards there and a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Levis to throw on first and 10 here. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So the call there, roughing the passer. Well, the preseason's time for work it out the Kings, but sometimes you've got some defenders who are too eager to impress trying to make this team. And that time we saw one take a shot at the quarterback way too late. They'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Pick up with two. Brings up second and goal at the seven-yard line. 
Levis sets up to throw here. Touchdown! Nick Westbrook Akine. A seven yard touchdown grab. And the Bulls are an extra point away from evening this one up. Nick Folk for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now, Bajan to throw. Caught right side. It's Lewis. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. Take it down at the 42. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. It'll be a gain of five. And now it's third and four. Here's Bajan. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten, as they've got things rolling on this drive. And he's going to use his legs here. And he lose yardage here, back at the 47. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw a defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost by the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first and ten, it's Bajan. His throw incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Santos' kick is up and through, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. 
So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, they may try and work their way into field goal range and try to tie up this ball game. Levis in trouble, down he goes. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. Throwing on second and long. Levis, throw here, taken in by Wiley, the tight end. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Now Levis. And that's complete to Westbrook Akine. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Taylor now returning it. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. Back out comes this offense now late in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On first down, Bajan. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Bajan. That'll be caught by Foreman. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That's a game of three. It's third and seven. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Back to you guys in just a minute as we've started the countdown to opening night. Remember, the preseason has shrunk from four games down to three. So just two more weeks of preseason action follow this, and then we get it all started on the first Thursday after Labor Day. In our game, the defenses look to be ready for the regular season. Maybe not the offenses just yet. This field but still right a hat to go line. as we get you back out and to Brandon make it to the 20 yard line and no further. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Now, this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Boy, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. And they run the option on second down. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Brings up third and five. Throwing now, Bajan. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Just his second catch of the game so far, this one moves the chains. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They run it on first with Foreman. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 
11 more on that one and another first down. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. To throw is Bajan. And Lewis has it, the tight end. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gets him a first down. Foreman powering ahead, down to about the 32. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Pressure comes, and down he goes. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. And the passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. Haven't been getting much yardage out of it, and now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. They'll set up to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's going the other way. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Well, that's a down and distance coaches always talk about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. On first and 10, it's Spears. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A handoff. Haskins try the right side. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on one of the a third and four. Levis looking to throw. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up Ford. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder. You think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him. And I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first. Because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. And any time you see a kicker try out the try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come up perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through. And that one winds up no good. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. 44 yards rushing for him now. He's carried the ball just five times. Lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the option to give to Foreman. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? So give him two yards there on the completion. And it brings up third and five now. 
And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their rounds. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves his sticks. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Offense is moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. They're going to look to throw. And that will be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. Santos' kick is up and through, and the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So it was a three-point lead at halftime, and they double that with a field goal here. And I think defensively, you've got to be okay with that because you've kept this game within a touchdown. Your hope is that you've inspired your offense to put a drive together, get in the end zone themselves, and hopefully get you the lead. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Back out comes San Antonio. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. But they go play action. Here's Levis. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and ten. Back to throw, it's Levis. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Levis. That's to the tight end, Wiley. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner, great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. Levis now on first and 10. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up second down. Again to Haskins up the middle. And they'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? coming up and making the big... And it's caught! Touchdown! Nick Westbrook Akine ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bulls are an extra point away from capturing the lead.
There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had to be and now, before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be Previous confirmed by the replay review. official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that will put them on top here in the third. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. No return here for Homer. It's a touchback, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kick a trap on the field. They don't want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be gone for six. First play of the drive, a success. 19 yards. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game, and I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll make it second down. Brings up second and seven at the 38 yard line. A give to Foreman now on the option. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we'll watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Stiff arm there. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Foreman. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Back to throw, Bajan. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Now we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. For the lead, here's third and goal. Throwing here, Bajan. 
Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Unsuccessful pass on third down, but at least you got three points here in your hip pocket. Yeah, and I would take it from my hip pocket and put it right on the shoe of my kicker and go get those three points. This isn't even a discussion to me. This is a chance to take the lead after a good drive. Do it. Santos' kick is up and through, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Back out comes San Antonio. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. This drive starts with a Haskins carry. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and 10. Now Haskins on a give left side. And his defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. The offense on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and nine. Levis sets up the throw here. That one's taken in by Spears. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. They'll start out here with an option left. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. So finally, at this stage of the game, he lets his legs carry him for a big-time first down. But I think this is all set up by his eyes throughout the game. He's been taking it all in as he's watched this thing unfold. And finally, the eyes carried the legs and took him downfield. You're right, his longest run in the game, waited until the fourth quarter, and maybe that lulled the defense to sleep a little bit. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Completes it left side to the tight end, Lewis. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Foreman will try to pick it up. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. And the punt team on now as this one's set away. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin quarter. They're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. Haskins with a run to begin the drive. 
Davis is going to double their room to maneuver, able to get it from the 5 to the 10-yard line. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Second down, and they go back to Haskins. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Haskins now on first and 10. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A good gain of 12 yards that time. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. On first down, Levis. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. First week of the preseason, probably not the pass, the impression that the rookie wants to leave right there. Yeah, no probably about it, because that's not what you want to do to try and press your new coaching staff, try to impress your locker room, and most importantly, yourself. Probably spent all night last night saying, don't throw an interception early. Make sure you take care of the football. But now he's got it out of the way. Hopefully he can just settle in and move on. Now again to Foreman. 54 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. They run again with Foreman. And a short gain here down to the 22. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Now Bajan to throw. And that is incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will push the lead up to five. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Back out comes San Antonio. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. Well, here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. He got 29 yards that time. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Levis. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. First and ten, here's Levis. That's complete to Westbrook Akine. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now second and four. Levis, he'll look to throw it. Throw here taken in by Wiley, the tight end. And down inside 
the 15 he goes. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Here's Levis. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A lot on the line here, even for just a preseason game. Jobs to be won and lost. It's third down. Levis. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Nice solid game there, partner, but the clock is starting to become his enemy. Absolutely. Every second right now, more and more precious as it ticks. Desperation time now. Here's Levis. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And as a result, possession switches hands. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Third down, here's Foreman. And he is going to have a first down here. And that should be the one that seals a victory. And they take a knee. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter, at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everybody.